Class 9th Lesson for Past and Present MP Board Books I remember, I remember the house where I was born, the little window where the sun came peeping in at morn. He never came a wink too soon nor brought too long a day, but now, I often wish the night had borne my breath away. I remember, I remember the roses, red and white, the violets, and the lily cups those flowers made of light. The lilacs where the robin built, and where my brother set the laburnum on his birthday, the tree is living yet. I remember, I remember where I was used to swing, and thought the air must rush as fresh to swallows on the wing. My spirit flew in feathers then that is so heavy now, and summer pools could hardly cool the fever on my brow. I remember, I remember the fir trees dark and high, I used to think their slender tops were close against the sky. It was a childish ignorance, but now tis little joy to know I'm farther off from heaven than when I was a boy. Thomas Hood Questions 1. Why does the poet remember the house? 2. What does too soon and too long refer to? 3. What does the poet desire? 4. Find out the lines which express the beauty of the sunshine. Answers 1. The poet remembers the house because he was born there. It was spacious and sun-facing. 2. Too soon means momentarily. Too long refer to a long while, long period of time. 3. The poet desires to die. 4. He never came a wink too soon. This line expresses the beauty of the sunshine. B. Read the second stanza given below and answer the questions. I remember, I remember the roses, red and white. The violets, and the lily cups those flowers made of light. The lilacs where the ribbon built, and where my brother set the laburnum on his birthday the tree is living yell. Questions 1. Describe the beauty of flowers as depicted by the poet. 2. What objects of nature attract the poet most? 3. Find out the rhyming words in the second stanza. Answers 1. There are red and white roses, violets, and lily cups. They seem to be made of light. 2. The flowers, the lilacs, the robin, and the laburnum attract the poet most. 3. White light set yet. C. Read the third stanza given below and answer the questions. I remember, I remember where I was used to swing, and thought the air must rush as fresh to swallows on the wing, my spirit flew in feathers then that is so heavy now and summer pools could hardly cool the fever on my brow. Questions 1. How did the poet enjoy the freshness of air? 2. Highlight the difference between past and present spirit of the poet. 3. What made the past pleasant? 4. Why is the present heavy for the poet? Answers 1. He wanted to enjoy the freshness of air on the swing. 2. The poet's spirit in the past was joyful. His present spirit is full of tension and stress. 3. The surroundings made the poet's past pleasant. He found joy all around. 4. Present in full of worries, despair, stress, and aspirations. Therefore, the present is heavy for him. D. Read the last stanza given below and answer the questions. I remember, I remember the fir trees dark and high, I used to think their slender tops were close against the sky. It was a childish ignorance, but now it is little joy to know I'm farther off from heaven than when I was a boy. Questions 1. Which lines tell about the height of thin fir trees? 2. How does the poet compare childhood with manhood? Answers 1. The fir trees dark and high. I used to think their slender fops were close against the sky. The above lines tell about the height of thin fir trees. 
2. How does the poet compare childhood with manhood? Childhood Childhood is the best period of one's life. Every member of the house loves him. He gets all his needs fulfilled. He has least cares and worries. It is the period of learning, innocence, and enjoyment, manhood Manhood is the period of earning one's livelihood. Both the older people and the younger children depend on him. He fulfills the needs of his parents, wife, and children. Manhood is full of worries, anxieties, aspirations, and frustrations. Writing Activity A We owe a lot to the nature. Write about the things you observe in the company of the nature. 50 words, answer, nature comprises the whole universe and every created, not artificial thing. Natural environment consists of all physical factors bestowed by the nature. It includes land, climate, minerals all such endowments without which the life on earth could have not been possible. It is thus the sum total of all non-living and inorganic matter such as land, air, and water. We owe a lot to nature. We observe forests, rivers, valleys, mountains, fields etc. in the company of the nature. B. Describe the activities you used to do as a little child, 150 words, answer, the happiest period of my life was when I used to be a little child. I was the first issue of my parents. I was born after 20 years of my parents' marriage. Naturally, I was a pampered child. Everybody in my house showered utmost affection on me. I used to touch the feet of my grandparents, parents, uncle, aunt, and paternal aunts. I sought their blessings every day. I used to go put for a daily morning walk with my uncle and aunt. I took my breakfast with my grandparents. I used to go to the nearby temple every morning. I used to climb up my father, shoulders and dangled my legs. I used to play with toys or enjoyed the swing in the park. I used to say namaskar to everyone, I met. I used to play with small children of my age. Think it over, I, it is a general notion that childhood is the most memorable period of one's life. Why is it so? Is it the carefree sporting or the love and care one receives or something else? Answer, there is no denying the fact that childhood is the most memorable period of one's life. It is due to the careless sporting and the love and care one receives. Above all, it is due to the need of the parents. A childless couple is considered a cursed couple. Therefore every couple needs a child at the earliest. If the childbirth is delayed every family gets anxious. The parents shower their utmost love on the children. They pamper them. They give them the best food, clothing, and shelter. They are treated like princes even in their huts. They are protected like a treasure at every step. Children are thought to be the support of one's old age. 2. What lessons can we learn in the lap of nature? Answer, according to Wordsworth, nature is a great teacher. The rivers flow and the winds blow for the benefit of mankind. The trees and plants blossom not for the sake of themselves but for the benefit of others. The sunset, the rising moon and the twinkling stars have no selfish motive behind their activities. They teach us a sound lesson to be regular, benevolent, merciful, cooperative, and friendly to others. They also teach us to be humble because human life is mortal. The falling meteors, leaves and flowers teach us the same lesson. Let's understand lesson in Hindi. Kavi apne ghar ko yaad karta hai, jahan sundar phool khilte the. Gayak, pakshi, 
फूलों वाली झाड़ियों में अपना घोसला बनाता था उसके भाई द्वारा उगाया हुआ अमल उदास का पेड़ अभी तक वहां है कवि झूला झूला करता था स्वच्छ हवा गर्मी के पोखर और अत्यधिक ऊंचे देवदार उसकी आत्मा को छोड़ दिया करते थे वह बचपन में अज्ञान था उसकी आत्मा को अब वहां स्वर्गीय वातावरण नहीं मिलता है Subscribe the channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the latest videos. MP board books will be available in this channel. Like and share this book so that IT will be beneficial for the students studying in home in this lockdown. If you like this video, PLS comment and share by John Sir.